So, hi guys. Um, it's evening time here where I live and probably for most of my viewers it'll also be evening time since like they're pretty much all German. <laughs> um, um, it's evening time and so I want to talk about my fears because it's going to be spooky. I mean it's not really dark or anything. It's like um, 9 p.m. but who cares we're gonna do this um, so my fears don't actually have many if any fears at all anymore but when I was younger I was riddled with fears one fear after another I was scared of the dark I'd only sleep under my duvet if my head was underneath it but then I couldn't breathe so I'd always have to like I'd have to like try to my cushion so that it would just leave my nose free just so I could breathe. I was hella scared in the dark. Um, although I knew that ghosts and stuff like that don't exist. I wasn't able to not think of them. Um, next to the dark I was, I had a terrible phobia for needles. Like really terrible. They actually um, gave me something so that I'd fall asleep, you know whilst they tried to take my blood because they knew that I was um, I had a phobia for um, needles and so they let me fall asleep let me fall asleep um, and then as soon as they put the needle in I woke up and like was throwing my arms around me you know I was so scared and I can't remember any of it because of course I my my mind was asleep just the back of my brain was kind of awake. I cannot remember anything that happened there, but it was apparently very aggressive. So yeah, fear of needles, fear of the dark. Um, <clears throat> I also had a pretty bad fear of talking to people. Like, I could not really ask anybody anything. That's now a lot better than it was before. Don't say it's perfect, but I don't think it's perfect for anyone. Don't think you normally go up to people and just, like, talk to them, just, like, for fun. Don't think a lot of people do that. There are, of course, the uh, few exceptions, but I think the mo that most people are pretty... Yeah, they just do whatever. They talk with the people they know, and if they meet someone new, it takes a while. I think that's normal, and that's the kind of stage I've reached now. But when I was younger, I wasn't even able to talk to waiters, you know. If they asked what I wanted, they'd have to ask, let my parents ask for me, because I was, like, that scared. It's pretty insane. Um, don't know how I even survived in life. And last, I also had... Uh, pretty big fear of exams. The problem with that fear was that, so my body had the bodily reactions that you have when you have fear, so like faster heart, uh, faster, um, yeah, heart rate, um, I sweated, I started shaking a bit, but like my mind didn't register the fear, which was kind of weird. It was nice because I didn't feel scared, although I was scared, and in the end, you could see the results, which kind of showed that I was pretty scared, because I'm not, I'm not trying to use it as an excuse. I'm a lot better now, since I don't have that fear. It's, I'm not using the excuse like, ah, I was scared, so therefore I was bad. But I was hella bad in, like, big exams where I knew weeks before that an exam was coming, and then I was really 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 good with like small tests that were uh that we were told about like a minute before we wrote it it's like a huge difference i don't know and we assumed that that was because i was scared and i'd build up that fear 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 up to the point where i just couldn't concentrate anymore so yeah i think those are all the fears that i had um glad i don't have any of them anymore um, write in the comment section below which fears you had, or still have at the moment, um, and I'll try to answer all the messages, well, try. I will answer all the messages, all the probably zero that'll come. But yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.